Hi, today I'll be preparing muzzles grilled. That is with the Japanese mayonnaise, mayonnaise and um, sriracha sauce. So, what I've got about uh, 20 muzzles. So, what I have to do is first clean clean them up. So, they'll have some dirt on that. So, you can use. A coil to clean it and check whether the muzzles are uh, if, the, if you've got dead muzzles then you can throw them away don't use it You'll, you might fall sick so I'm just cleaning them up and then putting them in water so if the muzzles are opened up then you just got to tap them if it closes that means they are alive otherwise they are dead so you can throw that off So if you've got this beard coming out, then just pull it off and put them in water. So once you've done that, for about 20 minutes keep in water so that it, uh, any impurities are there can come out. So I'll be doing with the rest of it and then I'll be boiling that um, for some time till they open up. In the muscle. Now what I have done is I have put a little water in this uh, vessel and I put the muzzles in this colander and I am going to let it steam and once it is steamed and then the muzzles will open up. So the muzzles are all opened up now. So you take them out. If they are not opened, then you can throw them away. What you have to do is take off one of the shells and the other one you remove it from the shell and put it back. this in the tray and do that to the rest of them also when when you open if you see this beard you use this scissors and just take it out and then you can use the scissors to cut it open this one if it is stuck it back in sometimes they might you might find a small crab in you can discard that inside here you might find a small crab in this stage nothing so I'm going to prepare now a sauce to put on top of this so I've got this Japanese uh, mayo, mayo. So about we'll have about half a cup of it. If you want more you can always use it. And then I've got this uh, Japanese sauce, Shirasa chili sauce. It is a medium I'm using, it gets hot also. So about one tablespoon, one and a half tablespoon of that. And then I've got spring onion or green onion. I'll mix all this. You can also put fish roe or tobiko. I don't have that, but uh, you can put that to make a nice mixture, and then you put little by little into each of these. So then I'm going to put them under the broiler or the grill in the oven. So. So 
now I am going to put it in the oven, grill it for about 10 minutes on 180 degrees. Yes. Nice. 